Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with the nine different types of Apex Legends players. If you enjoy this video, please paint the words Modest Pelican Gaming on your torso and your back and then streak at a crowded sports event as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. The Supply Ship Addict. So there's this supply ship that flies around the map and you can land on it and it often has good gear. But as you can imagine, a lot of squads want to drop there and so it ends up being sweatier than the P-Hub comment section. There's always that one guy who suggests landing there and then dies after like five seconds, or the guy who just completely misses the ship and ends up landing in f***ing Narnia. Anyway, if the supply ship addict actually ends up killing all the soy boys on board, it can be a great way to start the game with some high tier loot. The Beast is the player who takes down full squads for fun and prefers to chase high elimination games than slow play tactically for the win. No matter the situation, these guys push harder for kills than T-Series subscribers push for pictures of Bobs and Virgin. Whether this Beast is just someone who happens to be good at first person shooter games, or whether they are a gamer lord whose breath smells like Doritos and who only goes outside to buy another pack of Malbro Reds from the servo, one thing is for certain. This guy is a true Apex legend. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so cringe. I heard some lame streamer say that and it made me want to kill myself, so naturally I've been calling my friends, fellow Apex legends, to annoy them. The Special Ability Guru is a master at using each of the character's unique talents. There you are, thinking you have a squad pinned down and suddenly a kooky robot has fired a zip line across the map and him and the boys are riding the flying fox to a better future. Whether the ability is turning invisible and surprising some unsuspecting rascals or going super sane as Bloodhound and just molesting everybody, one thing is for certain. These abilities are very moist. I honestly never thought I would like a game with this kind of hero ability stuff in it, but it just works so well and is really good fun. I'm actually praising this game so much, so I hope as my reward, the developers respawn add a pelican character to the game whose special ability is drinking water and then spitting it back out hydro cannon style, and his taunt can be calling other players dinky virgins. Now that's a good character concept, I should be a game developer. The finisher enjoys eliminating downed opponents with their character's finishing moves. These finishing moves are basically the ultimate flex and a great way to showboat whilst bringing your opponent's sad life to a cinematic end. If you're feeling confident, you can start to combo your finishing moves with some tea bags for the ultimate humiliation. Some people might call this behavior toxic, but I personally think adding a little bit of egotistical spice to your playstyle is the best way to show that you are an intellectual and cultured gamer. The Loot Thief is exactly that, a dodgy player who steals your hard-earned loot. It's an unspoken rule that if you kill a player all by yourself, you are entitled to the first pickings, but this guy will sweep in and take all of your hard-earned upgrades before you've even finished replenishing your health. I think I speak for quite a few players here when I say that the loot thieves can go f*** themselves. The Clueless Mofo has precisely no situational awareness. This guy runs around looking at the pretty colours and pondering about why a game set in the Titanfall universe doesn't have any titans, before suddenly getting killed by some degenerate no-life. Clueless Mofos are most likely filthy casual gamers who prioritise things like having a professional career and getting laid over becoming good at Apex Legends. What a bunch of IRL nerds. The Banter Brigade are the ones who play purely for the laughs. They couldn't care less about winning or losing and simply cruise around trolling their teammates or using bad weapons because they believe gaming is about having fun and not winning. Stupid noobs. When you are on your deathbed looking back on your life, are you going to remember having fun with your friends? Or are you going to remember going insanely tryhard in video games, basically squeezing any enjoyment out of it as you turn what was meant to be a recreational hobby into a goddamn Olympic sport? The motto is, if you're having fun whilst gaming, then you just just haven't snorted enough G Fuel yet. The random teammate you get in your squad will vary from game to game. Sometimes you will get matched up with a player who is pretty decent, but 99% of the time this couldn't be further from the truth. It feels like whenever I play solo, I end up with one teammate who quits the game before we have even disembarked the dropship, and the other guy will end up getting stuck in the zone or falling off the edge of the map, or bloody eating a hand grenade like it was a Granny Smith apple. Vote no to 
random teammates. The champion specialist will do whatever it takes to win the game and they probably put their win percentage on their resume. Whether they are tactically camping their little dick off in a corner or engaging another squad from distance or perhaps hysterically screaming at their teammates that they need to be revived. It's all about getting that win. Anyway, thanks for watching you legends. You Apex Legends. I'm sorry, I have to stop doing that. It's terrible. Thank you so much to my patrons for their generous support. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.